From the statewide mask mandate to travelers testing positive after they arrive in the islands to Turkey Day, we have a lot to talk about this morning. So let's get right to it with the Lieutenant Governor and the state's COVID 19 liaison, Dr. Josh Green. Good morning, Doc. How are you doing this morning? Good morning, brother. I'm good. Now, the governor clarified the statewide mask mandate on Monday, but many people are still concerned about how officers are going to enforce it because there's the exception, or some are calling it a loophole. That if you're outside and six feet away from one another, you don't have to wear a mask. Do you understand their concerns, and how do we make sure that people are actually following the rules? What's well, a ma major step forward? I, I was very proud of the governor making that decision, clarifying the mask mandate. It was critical, something I pushed for. Masks are the only true way for us to prevent spread of the disease right now until we get the vaccine. As much as we love testing and it's important, uh, mask wearing is where it's at. So they'll use their discretion. It gives the police an additional way to influence uh, social decision making, which is people, they're too close and the police feel that they're violating uh, the mask mandate, they will cite them. If they are at the beach and they see people doing uh, what people do, which is neglecting the rules, uh, especially if they're travelers, they will cite them. We'll make it clear, abundantly clear to travelers and it's just better. It's better to be clear. It's not perfect, but it's a heck of a lot better than it was two weeks ago. And speaking of travel, Kauai has now seen nine cases where travelers took a pre-travel test, but they didn't receive their positive results until after they boarded their flights and arrived on the island. How can we prevent this from happening? Well, first, let me just state that that's a massive success. People look at it with, through some negative lens. We set up a net, and it caught them. It caught those cases. Those people ended up going into isolation, which worked. That's why there's not massive spread on Kauai or, or other places. Now, how can we do it? I did propose to the governor and the team that we ask everyone to have their test completed in hand before they travel. It, pro um, it produces logistical challenges galore, especially as there's going to be a lot more testing that's necessary on the mainland when they have their surge. But that's also why we added more trusted partners. So I think we may ultimately get there. But, you know, to complain about nine cases hurts the, the feelings of the rest of the world because other people are seeing thousands of people in their hospitals, and we are seeing the lowest rate, the absolute lowest rate in the country for COVID because of our Safe Travels program. The idea that you can make something perfect is not actually realistic, but I will try to make it better all the time. Yeah, because Kauai Mayor Derek Kawakami is asking to have the negative test before boarding as well as a second post-arrival test. Let me ask you this. Why does it seem like Kauai County, they've been releasing a lot of the post-arrival info to the public. Why does it seem like they're the only ones doing it? Or am I mistaken? Uh, you mean as opposed to me? I've tested 17,146 post-arrival tests, and we've had 24 positives. Uh, they have a much smaller community. It's more possible to do it. They get somewhere around 700 arrivals a day as opposed to 4,500 or so on Oahu. They're doing a good job, but the idea that you can have no cases is not compatible with any other activity. Now, you can choose to have no cases and have no other activity. That means no businesses being open, no jobs, no revenues, that's a choice that people have to make. Really the right thing to do is to find a balance. I think they are smart to try to reduce cases as low as possible, but people have to return home to see their loved ones. They have to travel inner island for work. People have to go for health care. There's lots of reasons that one must travel between the neighbor islands. As a neighbor islander myself for many years, I know that. So. Why are they more focused on it? They just have a little bit more capacity. Although I will say the Big Island deserves a lot of credit too. Each, each island does. The Big Island tested all of their arrivals for some time with a, with a post test. And that was incredibly successful. Maui's doing testing at uh, departure now. So all of this data is a part of one system to keep us safer than any other state. And that's why our numbers are very low. But I'll tell you, all of this chatter about tests is small potatoes compared to wearing masks. Masks are what stop the virus. Testing is not really what stops the virus. So I hope that people will focus on that going forward because I need people to give me another two months, if they will, uh, to get us to the vaccine. And speaking of travel and wearing your mask, a lot of people will be arriving in the islands for Thanksgiving to be with their families, especially starting this weekend. Is it inevitable that our numbers are going to spike? Uh, not inevitable from travel. 
it's inevitable if it does happen because when people are with people that they love in gatherings, if you have a Thanksgiving dinner with 13 people, your family of four, three other people, four other people, which will exceed the numbers that the mayors have allowed. But if people do that anyway, and they have three different bubbles and they don't wear masks, they're likely to spread COVID between one another. And so what I'm doing is I'd like to make a plea to everyone, please, no matter who you're with on Thanksgiving, and I hope you will just do a virtual Thanksgiving and keep your, you know, just your tight household together. But if you have other gatherings that you attend, you must wear a mask around those people. Otherwise, we'll see a big spike uh, in the month of December, and that will be before we can get vaccinations in place. Yep, we don't want to be having a super spreader event like Thanksgiving. All right, there you have it, Lieutenant Governor, and of course, he will be joining us to answer some of your Facebook questions in just a bit. But for now, let's turn it over to Kelly.